It premiered at Tribeca, it did. right, and it played at the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival. Oh, and I won an award there. <laughs> Congratulations. So here we are at, at Outfest. Uh, why was it important for you to bring the film here? Uh, you know, as someone who is part of the LGBTQ community, um, it's important for me to screen my films for the community that I'm part of. But specifically, this film is about uh, Jennifer Laude, who is a trans woman in the Philippines that was brutally murdered by a U.S. Marine. And I think it's a story uh, that hasn't gotten enough attention, and so I think it's good to be here to make my community aware of this story, um, and hopefully they'll want to take action after it. Have you screened it in the Philippines yet, or, or do you plan to? Not yet, but I'm actually planning on screening it in August. And do you have more of a sense of anticipation, anxiety about screening it there versus here, or it's all pretty much the same? <laughs> I mean, you know, yes, I think it's stressful to screen a film, but I think it's also fun, you know, and I'm trying to enjoy it as much as possible. I think the Philippines... Um, that screening in particular, yes. I think it, it will be a highly anticipated screening because a lot of the people who actually can't come here to see the film screening right now will get a chance to see it there, and it's really important. And obviously, it's kind of like the hometown screening. So. All right, and what is, uh, in your estimation, the kind of overall attitude, if you can characterize it, to the U.S. military presence in the Philippines? Obviously, that plays very much into the story of Call Her Gondo. Yeah, I mean, you know, so, you know, my film kind of makes the argument that what happened to Jennifer Laude, the violence that she uh, was faced with, is part of a much longer legacy of co uh, American colonialism and imperialism in the Philippines. Um, and part of what I'm trying to do with the film is really link this idea of transphobia and imperialism working hand in hand, right? It's about, it's about someone in power. Um, and um, physically assaulting someone lesser in power um, and feeling like they're entitled to do that. Um, and so, you know, as an American citizen, I'm very aware that, uh, you know, our government has a lot of overseas presence. Um, and I think as an American citizen, we're probably only hearing certain stories of what's happening. And so for me, it's also really important to, as a citizen, especially in this day and age, really question what my government is doing overseas. Um, and so this is one of my ways of being civically engaged. And just last question, how has the response been so far at the festivals that you've taken the film to? And, and besides the Philippines, where do you take it next? Where will people get to see it? Yeah, I mean, the response has been really great. I think a lot of people who are not trans, are not Filipino, um, walk away with it really surprised how much it touched them and how much they related to it. Because really, at the end of the day, it's about a mother who lost her child, right? And that's something that we can all relate to, is this idea of loss and feeling powerless when something like that happens. Um, in terms of, you know, reactions around the world, it's been really interesting. You know, I screened it a lot in Canada and the United States. Um, and obviously in Canada, there's a lot of people who are saying, oh, well, yes, the American government. <laughs> you know, sorry. But then at the same time, you know, if you think about it, most, you know, most countries are either a colonizer or a colonized, right? So you kind of fall into one or, one or the other. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, as of right now, it's starting to play some international. I'm excited to be playing it in the Philippines. And people can definitely find out more about the screenings on the website, which is just callhergunda.com.